guys, so I finally got my new camera. Um, this is my first video I am actually filming with it, so I'm sorry if it comes out a little bit blurry. Um, but the quality should be a lot better than my previous video, so hopefully, hopefully it is. So the video, as you can see by the title, is going to be on my hair extensions. And I've actually had these hair extensions for a very, very long time, maybe about three or four years. And originally it was my brother and I that went halfers on them because we bought them for my mom, but... First of all, my mom's not the type of person that likes to get all dressed up anymore. She used to be. Not anymore. Um, she barely has time to brush her hair and run out the door. Um, so she never would wear them. I put them on her maybe like twice. Um, but she never would wear them, so I just took them from her. And I use them quite a bit, actually. Thank God I still have the packaging in which I got them. Um, so I can still tell you the price and everything. I just can't tell you exactly where I bought them. I know it's a store in Moreno Valley Mall, but I don't know the name of the actual store. It's kind of like a Sally's. Um, but yeah, anyways. So the cost of these, I got them on sale, I guess. They were 80, let me see. They were 89 and I got them for 59. They are from the wig collection fashion source and they're 100% um, top quality human hair so mine I actually dyed them black and I can curl them and strain them and any, everything and it won't like melt the hair or anything like that and these are the ones I have I have three different wefts and I actually had to make these so I'll show you guys right now how it came originally but this is how much um, how much I use it actually came so basically the whole package came with this much amount let me show you so like that much hair so, um, and I did have to sew them in myself but it really was not that hard um, especially because it was my first time doing it so it's really not uh, you know anything hard to do maybe because what I'm thinking is with these I'm gonna dye them maybe like a blonde or a red or some some different color so I can use them as like um, just like small clip-ins maybe let me see Maybe I'll just like fold them in half and then sew this as one piece and then just kind of put them all over my head and just use them like as, um, what do you call them? Like um, streaks or something like that so I don't actually bleach my hair anymore and continue damaging it with um, hair dye and stuff. Anyway, so again, this is how they came. Like the whole thing came like this and what I did, I just folded it in half and I actually think these are like in fours. Yeah, I folded them like four times. So imagine this piece was a lot longer, so I folded it, and then I folded it again, and then I just sewed the ends here, the tip of it, and then I sewed in the hair clips. So I would sew one here and one here because it's a smaller piece, but like for these, I sewed in at the end, at the end, and then one in the middle. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I put them on. Okay guys, so my hair looks like really, really crazy because this is the way it looks when um it air dyed air dries I haven't put anything in it yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this heat protectant serum first and then because what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna curl my hair using the bed head curling iron hairbrush I have my clip and I have the curling iron so I'm gonna take my rings off so I don't get all that stuff on there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat protectant all over my hair I'm just gonna use a little bit because it's so like oily I don't want my hair to look like dirty so mainly on the ends, because that's where most of my damage is already at anyways. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the extensions first and then I'll curl everything together. So I'm going to divide my hair from where my ears are at all the way across. And that's where my lowest one is going to go first. So I'm going to pin my hair up here and I'm going to grab, go with this one, brush it out a little bit first before I put it in. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my hair. Let me show you guys. So, it may not be even like all the way across, but it really doesn't matter. So, I'm just going to go upward and then down so the little clip catches the hair. And just clip it. Okay, so I'm going to let that down. Grab a section above, like just right above that. Pin this up. Grab the bigger weft. I'm 
Okay, last one. On the very top, just right above that. And if you feel like it's a little high, you can always bring them down a little bit. So long as you're comfortable with it, knowing that the clips aren't going to show. Especially because mine are a little bit older, like I said. Um, the clips were black, but they are... As you can see, like the black, it's like shipping off. Um, so you can see the silver of the clip. So I just got to be really careful so that it doesn't show through when I'm wearing them. Okay, so instantly I have more volume. Again, I'm going to go ahead and curl all of it, and then, depending on what it looks like, I may have to move them around a little bit. They may just be perfectly fine the way they are, um, but this is how it looks now if I didn't want to do anything with it. And they actually kind of fit, like, perfect to my hair because my hair is not, like, super long or anything right now. Um, so they kind of just blend in perfectly. So what I'm going to do next is divide them once again, or divide my hair once again, and then just start curling. So I'm going to put all this up here. And then I'm just going to be curling everything away from my face. And I'm just going to grab big chunks. I don't really care to make it super perfect. Because I'm just going for like loose waves. It's kind of hard to like watch what I'm doing because um, the camera is like basically blocking my whole mirror. I should have probably done that at an angle. Okay, so there we go. Same thing, all the way around. Just make sure like when you're doing it, you're not pulling hard on the curling iron because you may um, be moving the clips around. You don't want them like, you don't want to kind of like be tugging at them. Okay, so there's a bottom section again. Drop another piece. And it looks like I have a lot of hair because I, you know, when I was in high school, I used to have such long hair and I used to have a lot of hair actually. But slowly, of course, I started messing with my hair, dyeing it, putting heat in my hair all the time. Um, so I lost, and I'm, I'm still losing a lot of hair. I'm surprised I'm not bald already. Um, so if you guys have natural virgin hair, do not mess with it. Enjoy your hair. Leave it alone. Um, if you want, like, streaks and stuff like that, and if you never bleached your hair, go out and get some extensions. Bleach those or get some blonde extensions. doesn't matter. And, um, use those instead. You can always just take them off and your hair is perfectly fine. You never even mess with it. But you had those extensions in there to give your give yourself a different look if that's what you were going for. But yeah, I would recommend for you guys to like, don't even touch your hair if you don't have to. My mom, actually when I was in high school, I would ask her to let me bleach my hair because I wanted streaks in my hair. That was just a thing, right? So she never would let me in high school. She told me as soon as you graduate, if you want to do that to your hair, you can do that to your hair. Of course, as soon as I graduate, I did to my hair. Maybe if I find the picture, I'll put it in this video. Um... And everything just kind of started going downhill from there. And also because I wasn't eating very well, like I became <clears throat> not vegetarian, but I stopped eating red meat and stuff. And I wasn't eating very healthy. So I guess, you know, obviously your the way you eat is going to affect your health overall. Your skin, your hair, your nails and stuff like that. So that's why my hair was so damaged. Um, and I tried buying vitamins for um, hair, skin and nails and stuff. But I am horrible, horrible at taking pills and medicine and stuff like that. So what I learned at work, what they do is they buy, like, they give them, they give the patients their medication in applesauce so it's easier for them to swallow. So I went out and I bought this big old jar of applesauce and I tried it. First of all, the applesauce to me tastes horrible. So I, like, just swallowed it, like, as fast as I could and the pill, of course, stayed behind. So I'm like... Now I really, really need to figure out a way to take those because um, I already spent the money on them and of course I need it. So if you guys have any recommendations on how I can force myself to swallow those pills, let me know. Is anyone else addicted to like these games on your phone or I guess they have them on Facebook too. Right now my husband just introduced me to this like Scrabble Friends or something. It's called Scrabble with Friends, so if you have it, let me know so I can play you, because uh, I've been having to play a lot of random people, because not a lot of people on my Facebook have it yet. Um, I used to be, like, really into words, but I suck at it, so I just kind of got over it already. <laughs> and, um, the one I'm really into is uh, Draw, Draw Something. That one's cool. Even though sometimes it's frustrating, because you don't know what the hell other people are trying to draw. Not like I'm the best. My 
like always when I get to the top of my hair um I always curl backwards so I just grab my section and I curl it backwards and that just helps to give a little bit of volume um, to the top of your hair I don't really tease my hair very often and I know it's like harmful for your hair to do it a lot so I try to stay away from it when I do I'm already putting heat in my hair so I just um, curl it this way to give it a little bit of volume at the top but you know you can do whatever works for you so my bangs, I don't really want to bring them forward, so I'm just going to grab them and curl them backwards as well. Just kind of mix it in with the back of the hair. So I'm all done curling it. I'm just going to run my fingers through it just softly and gently so I don't um, pull the extensions or anything. And at this point, you can go ahead and put hairspray in, hair, in your hair if you'd like to. I don't really care to put hairspray in it because um, I'm not going anywhere special. I just kind of did, did this look for the tutorial. Anyways, guys, so that's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like always, if you think it's flat, maybe I would probably put a little bit more volume here. Just throw in a little hairspray. Kind of help, um, help volumize this top part a little bit. But anyways, that's what it looks like. Um, and like I said, it's just... Mainly the reason why I use the extensions is for volume, not so much for length, because they are pretty much the same length as my hair already. Um, I'm looking into getting some more extensions with a little bit more length, maybe the um, Lexi hair extensions. I'm not sure yet which ones I'm going to be going for, but um, I'll show you what it looks like from behind. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Again, I'm sorry if it looks blurry. You can't really see any of the um, the clips. I can feel them, but you can't see any of them. So yeah, just make sure you got them hidden in there. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.